Howdy guys and welcome back, my name is Elio and welcome to episode 9 of the Bleach Immortal Soul Character Guide series. In today's video, we have my boy Byakia, so without further ado you guys, let's go ahead and get this party started. Alright, so yep, you guys caught me. I've actually spent money on this game. I've spent a whopping dollar to get Byakia. So I now am able to also do the free summons every, I think, three days from him. Which, I'm perfectly fine, dude. I dropped a dollar on a mobile game. It's not the end of the world. I'm perfectly fine with that. I've had plenty of fun in this game. And if you're enjoying this game and you plan on playing it at least for a while, dude, I spent a lot more than a dollar on a lot of crap that I don't want to talk about. But let's go ahead and check out Byakia. So, you can obviously get Byaki through recharging, which is what I did, and that's how I got him, which is how everyone gets him. But uh, his main selling point is he's more of a support-ish character, but as we can see here, he's focused around attack and bleed. So let's go right into his skills. So his scatter, um, Sinbone Zakura, deals damage to a single enemy, and it gains rage for him by 150, and there's a 22% chance to dispel all buffs on the target. So if there is a target on the opposite side of the field, obviously, when he hits them, there's a chance that if they have some type of buff on them, that he can just go ahead and strip that buff away. But wait, you guys, there's more. There's absolutely more to this, because not only can he debuff them, obviously the dispel debuff, um, dispel debuff, you know, same thing, but, but, he gets rage from that, that's very, very, that's the main selling point of the skill, that number one, he gets rage, and then he can dispel any buffs that the target has, so he's debuffing the target, and he's building up rage, very, very annoying move, I can see how come, I could see how that would be problematic, because, that leads into his Bankai move, Sin Sinbone uh, Zakura Kageyoshi, where it deals damage to all enemies. We've probably all seen an animation unless you just started the game, but everyone gets hit with bleed for two turns. And we can see here after his weapon awakens, the damage is increased. And then, um, and rage is recovered to all allies in the back row. And once he becomes ultra rare, if there's targets killed by the skill, a certain amount of self HP will be recovered based on a number of targets killed. Essentially, if you have Byakia Ultra Rare, once he gets his move off, which due to his combo skill is a guaranteed at some point in time unless he's CC'd or um, killed, dude's gonna heal himself while applying bleed to everyone. To everyone, boys. That is... I'm not saying that's OP, but that is extremely helpful, especially if you have more of a bleed type build with your units, like with Ichigo or... Um, Jin? Or, um, what's his name? What's his name? Zangetsu. Zangetsu, because I believe Zangetsu's played too. I have to check him out. I haven't looked at him yet, but I could be wrong there. And then his um, passive skill, four great noble clans. When he is alive, he decreases the attack of male enemies, which 15. Obviously, this goes up higher and higher once you unlock it and level it up. I'm not sure if this is going to be any amount amazing. I don't think that's the main selling point of his passive. I think the main selling point of his passive is that once a target dies, his attack has increased by 5%, and this can stack up to 10 times. And once he's ultra rare, um, ally soul reapers also deal 8% more damage. So the main selling point of this is the more that um, Byakuya is on the field, well the longer that he's out on the field and the more damage he can do, the higher his attack is going to be. So if you're fighting Byakuya, one of your goals should be to try and kill him as fast as possible because he's going to get his freaking rage skill off and if he's on the battlefield especially for a longer battle the more people die especially from your side which is what it's talking about the stronger he's going to get and then he's just going to loop into the combo which is going to loop into the rage skill and yeah it's going to get annoying super duper fast but let's move over here to the war souls so for his main war soul, he regenerates 21 rage when a character dies from either side. Obviously, I need to live, level that one up. But basically, he has another way to guarantee that he's going to get some rage so he can get his skills off. Um, hopefully, hopefully quite quickly. I'm not going to say it's like one turn or anything like that, but he definitely has a kit that's built towards him spamming his um, rage skill as much as possible. Now, for my second slot, I went with the Spirit of Assault for right now. This isn't like a guaranteed slot for him. I just threw something up in there just to raise his attack up, but I could definitely see someone maybe adding in stun because 
he's going to get his rage skill off fairly easy fairly easily so i could see someone adding in stun or someone adding in something like bleed to further increase his bleed damage which you can't go wrong with either you can't go wrong with either uh in my opinion so either stun in my opinion attack or something to get his bleed damage to get a boost in it and then for his uh, violet war soul skill that slot's not unlocked for me but i was going through and my recommendation for that is probably going to be the soul of rage um i could be wrong here but we can see with uryu that increases the soul bearer's attack by x amount and then matches skill damage by 11.5 percent and there's also a chance for it to inflict bleed which one of Byakuya's selling points is his ability to bleed which again will assist any other bleed units that you're using so keep that in mind that's what i would recommend for him there's probably better ones out there i'm not saying this this one's the definitive version but if you guys have any suggestions feel free to leave a comment below if you guys are a Byakuya god feel free to leave a comment below about how you would build him or what you prefer to do with Byakuya and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe so you can check out the next video when that one goes online and like this video if you do like it and it's really helped you make a decision and if you have any type of feedback that you want to give towards the video of making this more helpful as I go along with reviewing these characters once again I implore you to leave a comment but I've taken up enough of your guys's time for today and I'll see you guys in the next video peace out